okay hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is the second video that i have done for the year and i feel like i'm doing good being more consistent you know you know what that's my problem when i watch this video it's gonna be messed up because i'm not looking at the camera i'm looking at myself okay this should be better y'all see me looking directly in your eyes right <laughs> okay but anyway this is my second video of the year and um if you haven't watched my first video you need to go ahead and watch it because i did a wig and style video and i know y'all like wigs and it was cheap and i know y'all like being cheap and it was on amazon i know y'all love amazon wigs so go watch it you know three much on youtube and um this video is going to be about the story time a couple people was requesting because i had my first irritating client the other day and i was really feeling some kind of way because my clients usually love their hair. They don't give me a hard time. They come to my house because I don't travel. I went to this girl's house, but I'm going to just go ahead and backtrack from the beginning. So let's get into it. All right, so... I ended up doing my classmate hair. Um, she wanted some butterfly locks. She wanted this. Well, she actually wanted um, some other butterfly locks I did, which I'm going to go ahead and post either right there, right there, right there, somewhere on the screen. So she wanted that. And I have never seen, I never seen my classmate real hair because she always got like the fake ponytail or something going on. So I, I didn't know how damaged her hair was. So she ended up seeing the girl um, hair that I did a couple days ago. And it was like, I wanted just like this. So I guess she didn't really pay attention when I showed her like the front versus the back. Because when I did my client hair, her front was kind of more um, shorter because I had it like face shape. And I take into account my client's face shape. And her back was longer. Like you could literally tell like it was longer past her shoulders or shoulder length, whatever. So I ended up going to her house. First of all, I got to her house before she did. We got out of school at 3.50. I stopped at the beauty supply to get some supplies. Went straight to her house. I didn't leave her house at 10 o'clock, y'all. Ten the fucking clock. Get to her house. I'm out there waiting. I'm on TikTok. She had to pick up her kids. Do some other stuff. Blah, blah. So we get to the house. Then she got to cook dinner. Then she got to strain up. Then she got to talk to her kids. So we got to school at 3.50. I started on her hair like 6, 6 o'clock. So, but I ain't even going to lie though because she did offer me a plate of her dinner. And, you know, it wasn't too bad. I mean, you know, I was hungry. So I ate it. I did have to ask for, you know, some salt. <clears throat> that's my lemon juice because she made shrimp scampi but yeah we had end up eating and once she had um she had ended up washing her hair she was like i'll go ahead and wash my hair to get the product out so she washed her hair and i looked in the kitchen and i'm just like you could see all the damage like she had it colored so i don't know if it was from that and then once i started doing her hair it was like shorter and broken off in more pieces so, and then she was telling me she wanted to grow her hair out. So, I didn't want to use rubber bands because it was going to be tension on top of tension. Because, you know, if you know how to do butterfly locks, you have to wrap that hair around the braid. So, that causes more tension on top of that rubber band. So, I'm like, your parts is not going to be like my clients from that picture because your hair is so broken off. And I'm trying to think about the integrity of her hair and the fact that she's trying to grow it out. So, I made her parts larger okay cool so um once she once i finish you know i i moved it whatever whatever so we get in the bathroom and she like like she just she just playing with it but she ain't saying nothing so i'm like you you like it like what but she had ended up paying me before she looked in the mirror so she like um she like i just wanted and she told me everything like i just wanted a side part and you know i wanted more locks than this and i wanted them all the same length and i just i just didn't want it this big and i'm like i said we can i was like i can take it down and you know put them parts and put them in half like split it in half basically but i'm like i'm gonna have to use rubber bands and you know you're trying to grow your hair out and that's gonna be more attention and more attention equals more breakage so she's like um 
She like, it, you know, it really don't matter. I don't care if we break off again. I'm like, you know, as a damn, as a, you know, I'm not licensed, you know, and you know, she know that because she my classmate. Um, so I'm not, I'm not licensed, but I'm just like, damn, as a stylist, I'm trying to put, you know, your hair's best interest and heart, you know, because. I, you know, I want to get paid, but I also, you know, want your hair to, to grow, to, to be healthy too. So, um, she like, yeah, I, I don't care if we break off, but I just, I just wanted more locks. I wanted it to be fuller. And she like, um, she like, yeah, and it's just, it's too stiff. But if you have butterfly locks, you know, when you first get these locks, they be stiff. Mine was stiff when I first did them, but now they move. Like, once you start getting in the shower and, and you know, doing stuff a couple days, well, I think mine took, like, maybe a day or two. It be good. So, I finished her hair maybe, like, two hours. Started at six, probably ended at eight. Then it was another two hours because i didn't leave her house till like 10 o'clock because i had to go back we had to cut them out and, I, and she like um she like yeah i'm gonna help you i'm like yeah because you're you're gonna have to help at this point mind you her price is already discount i didn't charge her full price because you know her birthday was the next day and she my classmate you know we cool so i'm like so when she said that she was like um she was like oh am i a difficult client i said yes you really are and you know i don't think i'm a stylist for you i'm I'm not doing your hair again she laughing it off like oh oh ty don't do that and i'm i'm like quiet because i'm irritated like dead ass do not ask me to do your hair again because you already got discounted i already traveled to you you told me the day before you wanted your hair done which is last minute as hell so you know me trying to go out my way that was I only had two off days this week from work. So, you know, I'll be wanting to go home after school. I really do and fucking relax and be with my family. But instead, you know, I'm with yours trying to do your hair and stuff. And then I was really just like taking like taking a bell. I was really irritated. Like, I'm done doing hair. I'm about to scam or some shit for real. Like that made me so mad, y'all. But uh we end up finishing and you know I'm, I'm like straightening up my mess getting all the hair off the floor because still like i'm not with leo house dirty whatever but i really have felt some kind of way because you know i'm breaking all my rules you know discounted prices traveling to you doing that you know day be day before appointment stuff i don't do that because i be having plans even if my plan is to lay down it's still my plan but you know it, it's, it's your birthday you want to look good for your birthday cool you know and now and i come to your house so I had really felt some kind of way and and you know it it was like it was like an eye opener like okay you about to be in this career and this is not the last time you about to deal with you know a hard client and I'm just like what the hell am I about to do because at the same time I still have to be professional even though she got discounted even though I know her and you know we see each other in class every day I feel like I still have to be professional and not be like okay girl i send your money back fuck this i'm not like i had to be like okay what do you want to do to fix it you know we can cut it down because at the same time i still want you to leave my chair happy well leave her chair i still want you to you know once i finish your hair i still want you to feel pretty you know have that confidence because as females when we get our hair done we be feeling ourselves and i done had times where i went to the salon and you know, didn't like my hair and went home and, you know, wasted money because I took it out or I got to go home and try to fix it myself. And I don't want my clients to have to do that. So, um, yeah, that that's pretty much the story, though. But I had really felt some kind of way. And then, you know, people that's not stylist, they be having to understand you cannot always get a picture or see a picture and be like, oh, I want this because that client, her hair was pat like at her down, you know, at her shoulder, at her bra strap. You know, my client hair was like right here. You know, the, my classmate hair was like right here. So you can't always see a picture because you got to think of the hair, uh, the hair texture. You have to think about, you know, everything, how damaged it is. If it was color, anything, how you take care of your hair might not be how somebody else take care of their hair. And I ain't feel like I had to explain that to her because, you know, you learning the same stuff I'm learning. Like you sit next to me in class every day. 
And then, you know, when we had when we came to school the next day, I was still kind of mad. And if you know me, I really hold grudges. So when she was talking to me and said good morning, I was like, yeah, mm, morning. Because I was really still feeling some kind of way. Like, I'm not, like, I wasn't trying to be a bitch, but I really... I'm so soft sometimes and I really be in my feelings about shit. So either I may ignore you and not talk to you and be in my feelings or you're going to get cut off. And, you know, I ain't going to cut her off because she really sweet. Like, she, uh, she pushing 40, so she kind of older. And I just feel like she also didn't know about these kind of styles, like the, the butterfly locks, because she always wearing, like, clippy and ponytails and quick weaves and tw the 27 piece and stuff like that, stuff other people wear. But that was, pre that was pretty much it. And then I was just... Bro, when I got home, I was so tired. Like, I got in the shower and just knocked out. Because I had been up since, like, 6 that morning to drop the boys off at school. And then I had to go to school and then do hair after that. But this the grind I signed up for. But, man. <laughs> boy, oh, boy. I am in for it, for real. But this, gonna, this really going to teach me how to be professional and how to keep my composure. You gonna leave my chair satisfied every time. Oh, you don't like this, you know. Well, we gonna have to do something to fix it. But also, I'm gonna have to explain like you can't have what somebody else have. If you got fine hair and she got coarse hair, it ain't gonna look the same. If you got damaged hair and she got healthy hair, it's not gonna look the same. If your hair is twelve inches and hers is like sixteen, it is not gonna look the same. Seriously. But. Thank y'all for tuning in. I really appreciate all the support, whether it's for hair, whether it's for YouTube, whether it's for anything. If you support me, I support you back. And I love you for that, for real. But I'm in my uh, job park a lot, and it's time for me to go in there. <laughs> my manager keep coming out looking at me. So I'm going to go ahead and log off. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. I cannot fuck with you, baby. You right. You are not for me.